Hi, and welcome to this Fornav Coffee Break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornav and I will be your presenter today. As this Coffee Break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the Coffee Break. Today, we are going to add barcodes to Business Central reports. To demonstrate how to add barcodes, we will use a sales template, warehouse shipment and item label from the Fornav report pack. However, you can add barcodes to any Fornav report from any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate how to add barcodes to your Business Central reports, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will add some simple barcodes to my sales invoice. In step three, I will change the barcodes on the warehouse shipment. In the fourth and final step, I will add a barcode to the item label. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will, be, I will be adding barcodes in the Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2020 Wave 1 release. I've installed the Fornav extension and I have executed a step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central cloud environment. I also have the Fornav Designer installed on my PC. The Fornav Designer can be downloaded from the Fornav website. Before Fornav, when we wanted to add barcodes to Business Central reports, we always had to install barcode fonts on our service tiers or use online image gen generators to encode barcodes. Fornav has every imaginable barcode type built in. There is no need to install anything and no extra cost. All we need to do is use the barcode control and select the desired barcode symbology. With the uh, big question then, of course, is how do I do this? So let's go to Fornav and open a report from my server. Let's start playing with the sales template. When we open Fornav, on the left hand side of uh, the, the screen, you'll find the standard controls. And in these standard controls is a barcode control, which we can drag into our report. Let's put it there, make it a little bit bigger. I like any Fornav text box, like this text box is uh, connected to the uh, field groups build to address, I can set a source expression here. And in this source expression, I can use anything from my data set. So I can, for instance, use the header build to customer number and preview my report. You will notice that for now, now prints a barcode. And if I zoom in a little bit, Underneath the barcode, there is a text that is printing, uh, which is a 10,000, which is the customer number of the Canon Group PLC in my uh, database. And you will also notice that if I zoom in further and further, that the barcode stays uh, stays all crisp and readable. It doesn't blur or anything. And that's because four and a half barcodes are vectorized images, which means that however much you zoom, the barcode stays uh, stays clear. So of course, this is just a simple barcode. What if I need to change a my barcode to a different type? If I look at the properties of my barcode task of my barcode control, you will notice I have my symbology where I can change my symbology to anything I could uh, I could imagine. There's quite a list there, and if you think we missed out something, uh, then please let us know, and we will add it to the barcode list. So let's go and do something a bit more complicated. Let's uh, add a QR code for our website, for our homepage. So what I need to do is find the homepage in my data set. Now I just drag the barcode into my uh, report and set the source expression. There's actually a quicker way of adding barcodes and that is just to find my data item in the field list. And find homepage. And if I drag this into my report, you will notice I get a text box with the homepage, which is not what I want. But if I drag it in with either the right hand mouse button, like the alternate, alternate mouse button or with the shift key pressed, when I drop it, it asks me what I, what I want to create, what sort of control do you want to create? And what I want is a barcode. And that way for enough creates a barcode for me. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And in my symbology, I'm going to choose the QR code. 
Now it says there are invalid characters in the text. And if I preview this, you will notice that it doesn't work straight out of the box. So I need to go back to Fornav and go to the properties of this particular barcode control, scroll down a little bit, and you will notice where I can choose the symbology. There's a little arrow button in front of it. If I click that, I get my extra my extra properties where I can set my QR code to byte and preview. And now I get a nice QR code. Once again, zooming in all the way, it stays crisp and nice. Uh, and it, uh, this is a barcode for the Fornav website. I'm sure there's somebody in, out in the, in the audience with a barcode reader or a, a QR scanner. So just if you want, please try it. Underneath, like any barcode, uh, by default, it has a text that it is displaying. I want to get rid of this because I just want to show my QR code. So I go back to Fornav and right above my barcode symbology, it says show text. I double click it to change the value to no and preview. And there we have the QR code without the text just like I wanted it. Many Fornav reports already use barcodes, though you may want to change the symbology. Let's go and have a look at the warehouse shipment. Once again, open Fornav. I find the warehouse shipment. the Fornaf warehouse shipment. And if I open this, you will notice it has a barcode already on the on the header, which displays the header number. So if I preview this, there's a barcode already there. What if I want to change it? Say I want to use code 39 instead, and I want the text underneath. Let's go back to Fornaf and select my barcode control. You will notice that show text is set to no, so I'm going to reset this and I'm going to change the symbology to code 39, which is used very often. And let's preview this. Now we have code 39, and you will notice that the, uh, the text, the plain text representation of the barcode is underneath the barcode. Very often recently, uh, clients of us ask us about the, uh, the 2D, 2D barcodes. There's two types of barcode at the moment. You have the, the simple 1D, which is the lines that you will all notice from your supermarket shopping. Uh, but we also have the 2D controls, like, for instance, the QR code we just used. But there's some more. There is, for instance, the uh, data matrix as well, which, as you will notice, prints a little matrix. I'm going to set show text to no and preview. And if I zoom in a bit, you will notice it now prints the, uh, the data matrix barcode style. The Fornav report pack comes with a nice set of labels, for instance, the item labels, but there are no, no barcodes on them. So let's remedy this. Let's, uh, let's change this. So once again, open a report from a server. Find my Fornav item label, which is a great, nice, uh, nice little report that you can print off with a label printer, but there's no barcode on it so I want to add one so let me just find the item number and once again drag it into my report with the shift button pressed and select barcode let's make it a little bit bigger 
Now, once again, the default symbology is code 128. Let's go right into creating a QR code. And of course, I need to set my QR code up properly. I don't want to show text in this case. Let's set it to byte, so I get, I get some stuff that fits. And you will, you will notice that the version is selected automatically to fit whatever control you're using. If I preview this, I'm going to preview just a single item number. Uh, let's pick a nice one. LSU4, I think that's a really nice item to print off today. And print, and there we go. You'll notice that you now have uh, your item label with the QR barcode on it again. So let's recap what we just did. We added some barcodes to the sales template. We used a simple barcode control to display the customer number as a barcode. Then we used a QR code to create a link to the company homepage. We then changed the barcode on the warehouse shipment to, to a different barcode symbology. And finally, we added a barcode, a nice QR barcode to the item label. Thank you for listening to me so far. Mark, do we have any questions? So thanks, René, for this uh, uh, great uh, coffee break once again. And uh, no, at this moment, we don't have any questions yet. Uh, so let's go to the next slide and give the audience a moment to type in uh, some questions. Uh, so if you want to know more about this uh, topic or about the product in general, uh, you can go to our website, uh, fornav.com, and there you can find the designer. And the designer is what you need in order to add uh, barcodes to a report or to change the symbology on existing reports with barcodes. If you want the reports, you, uh, the best way to go is to go to uh, Microsoft App Source, uh, log into App Source with your account, uh, Business Central account, and uh, install the report pack directly from App Source. It's completely free of charge. Uh, the only thing we do is uh, uh, we print a barcode, uh, we print <laughs> a watermark on the report. Uh, and if you want that uh, watermark to go away, you can simply order a license directly from the app um, and um, we'll get you settled uh, with the product. We do more of these coffee breaks on uh, a variety of, of topics. And you can find all of them on our YouTube channel. If you go to youtube.com slash Fornav reports, uh, you can find all of the recorded coffee breaks. Uh, we've done a few dozen uh, until now. And after that, if you still have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, contact. And the best way to do that is via support at fornav.com. That way your question will be logged in our support system and we will get back to you within 24 hours. So right now, still no questions. Uh, so let's wrap up. Uh, so on YouTube, you can find the list of all the coffee breaks that we did um, in the last couple of months. Um, and on our website, we keep a list of upcoming coffee breaks. If you don't find the uh, topic of your choice, um, send us an email to info at .com. We will evaluate your topic suggestion. And if we think it's a great idea to uh, do a coffee break around your topic, uh, you will win two prizes. I think the most important prize is that you will get your question answered um, and you get to share your idea with the rest of the world. Uh, but we will also give you a uh, 50 euro or US dollar gift certificate as a thank you for inspiring us uh, to share knowledge around our product uh, with you. So with that, I think we should wrap up uh, nicely within time. Thank you, Renee, for doing this and see you in another coffee break. Bye.